welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. If you're stopping by for the first time, smash that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos and be part of the family. So today, this is what we did. We got back from the trip, the car's dirty. And uh, as you guys can see, I'm gonna show you guys how dirty the car was. Right? So first things first is we're gonna go clean the car. It's really, really dirty. We were on our road trip and it was on a trailer. So we're gonna go clean the car. Uh, let us zoom. So it's dirty right now. We're gonna go give it a nice wash. It's back there. We're about to clean it, wash it, do everything we gotta do because it was just dirty. Uh, we went through Pennsylvania. Oh my God, okay. So, so, so we went through Pennsylvania. It was uh, raining and the car was on an open trailer. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a, sm uh, a closed one and uh, it was raining bad. It was the mountains, it was up and down. It was dirt, it was just everywhere. The car was just nasty and it was, it was really dirty and it's never been this dirty. Usually my cars don't get that dirty. I, I try to clean it and I don't really go on off-roading and all that other stuff. So I don't live by a dirt road, nothing like that. So we're actually, we're here to wash it and clean it off. And, uh, and I can't do it outside at my house just because it's like 40 degrees out right now. It's really cold. So it would freeze the car and it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be the, the smart thing to do. So I came here and my friends and that's what we're about to do. We're about to wash the whole car, detail it and like, there it is, we're at Dodge dealership. As you guys can see, we're at the dealership right now. And there's the car. I'm about to get to work. So right now I'm gonna try to attempt to Get this off with just strictly water. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna set the camera up here. Okay, and we're gonna zoom in. And I'm gonna try to wash it off. Let's see if I can get it done. All right, let's get it. So I didn't use a strong uh, power washer head over here. So um, it came off a little bit, but I don't want to keep doing too much. I'm going to try to just wash it off. And I mean, I mean, soap it up and clean it off because if I keep going back and forth, it's going to take the paint off. So this is what we're using. Yeah, for it to come off, as you guys can see. Yeah, I know it's there. I, I could probably spray that because it's plastic. Mm -hmm. So it's, all, it, like, it's not like the paint won't come off. So. I'll just spray that with really strong uh, power washer. So it's all gone. Just a little bit back here. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, finally it's gone. It's literally all over, the, even over here. And we're trying to get it off. Got it right off the plastic and the car. All gone. And that's how you do it. Simple. And now, I just gotta clean the rest of the car. All right guys, after three hours of trying to figure this out. Yeah, right? <laughs> we got it. Let's see, hopefully it works. Oh, we're in business.
We filmed the living life out of the car. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so white. Wow. We got the air hose right here and we're just gonna This is what we're gonna do to dry the car off. Alright guys, let me show you guys what I'm using to dry it. I'm gonna show you guys this wheel. All right, guys, I'm gonna go use it down here because uh, the water gets to the door. So even though I air dried it, um, obviously it's not gonna get every single little thing. So using this drying rag, it's brand new, it's warm, and we're gonna finish it off. There it is. I haven't put tire shine yet. I'm not going to right here. But, um, there it is. Finally got it all cleaned up. Look at her. So we got it out here as you can see I'm gonna tell you guys why the car isn't loud So when it's not in track mode or if it's a uh, under 3,000 rpms the flaps are closed So it's not loud. I don't like it being really loud But once I go over 3,000 rpms or I'm in track mode the flaps open and it gets loud, but man check this thing out Woo! Look how beautiful it looks Let me show you guys the Durango real quick Look how dirty it is. But he got Velgen wheels. He lives, all right, we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He does live on a dirt road. But uh, look at these two cars together though. Wow. Wow. Check out, just check out everything he got. All this, the blue right here, reflective. Whew. This is crazy. That's lit. Let's not forget about this beautiful charger. Whew. Again, Velgin wheels. Carbon fiber everywhere. Literally. And make sure it's no days off. Carbon fiber down here, carbon fiber here. Literally everywhere. Carbon fiber everywhere. I know you guys seen it. 
and I'm always showed every time I come here. But let's just not, let's just not forget the fact that my wheels look awesome. Wow, look at the wheels. Wheel and tire setup is the most beautiful thing on that Hellcat. Let's not forget about that. Shout out to Jason for letting me use the garage to clean the car. We're about to hop in the Hellcat and get going. We got a lot to talk about. Let's get it. Safety first, of course, and it's just too easy when your seatbelts are red. Let's get it. So we got a few things we got to talk about now. We cleaned up the car. Everything looked good. So this video mainly is the aftermath of, you know, the race with street speed. So what happened is uh, I went, got it done. Cool guy, awesome guy. Like the coolest guy, most genuine guy you could possibly speak to. And especially the level he's at. Usually you don't see people at that level that are this nice. You just don't. It's just, it's just, uh, it just doesn't happen. I know a lot of YouTubers and I've heard things about them that they just aren't the nicest, most you know, genuine people, and he was a genuine dude. So shout out to Mike for um, for that, and uh, for allowing me to you know collab with him and get a video of it. So let's talk about the race. I knew going into the race, I would only be able to beat him off a of 40 roll. 40 roll is usually a good roll for everybody, and it's a great roll for me. There's a few things. His car is a highway king. Not many people have a chance against his car. His car goes upstairs like it's nothing. So top speed, it's, it's it, that's what it's made for. It's a it's a highway king. It's seven, it's a 720s. It's one of the top in its top of the cars for that McLaren have. You know, then there's the P1 or whatever. But I knew I wasn't expecting to do a 50 roll. But me, I like being fair. He wanted to do a 50 roll, and I was like, that's fine. We'll do a 50 roll. I got him on both of the 40 rolls, and. Uh, when it came down to the 50 roll, I didn't have I didn't have a power band for it. I, I need to be second gear 40, third gear 60. I don't have any. I, it's I'm in the middle, you know. For 50, tw a second is too uh is too low. Si uh, uh, third uh, third gear is too high. So it was like uh, this is a terrible this is a terrible roll for me, and it's, it's impossible to do it. But I still did it. Like none of this. None of this is excuses, it's just an uh, explanation because like I want you guys to know what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling just so we can all be on the same page. So I did a 50 roll, I think I got him once or twice. Um, everybody was saying that I didn't post all the videos. I posted every single video I had. The reason why he had more races on his is because he had two cameras, two GoPros. So he was showing the race twice so it looks like it was that many more races but it wasn't. Literally, I posted every single video I got. Literally, I didn't have a video that I didn't, you know, I didn't get. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I didn't, you know, have the camera on. But I'm pretty sure, I'm a thousand percent sure that I, I posted all the videos. So, um, I had one GoPro camera. He had two, so he was showing two angles. So it looks like it was more than one race, but it was still the same race, just from two different angles. So I don't. He didn't. He didn't make that too uh, specific. And you know, it's not his fault. People just assume stuff. So. And then, uh, yeah, that was it, man. My car ran. My car was on low boost. Um, it wasn't even turned up just because I was I was literally like across the almost almost across the country. I was ten hours away from my house, and I didn't want anything going wrong with this car. Um, the car is not on spray. Uh, the next video I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you guys how much power this is making. No, it doesn't make a thousand wheel. Um, it, you guys are gonna know the numbers tomorrow. I'm gonna actually make a video where I talk about what's up done with this car so that's just I just wanted to explain what happened after cool guy awesome guy so we've texted here and there and um what do you guys think of a round two so I was gonna think of up in my up in the boost on my car going smaller pulleys putting nitrous on it and just uh making it crazy fast probably may, maybe doing a 15 inch conversion so I could hook Again, as you guys can see in the video, I couldn't hook for the life of me. I, I even screenshotted the video, and I was laying patches. So the race would have been different if I was able to hook, because I was planning on hooking. So we couldn't hook, but things like that happen all the time in races, and you can't do nothing about it. But yeah, we're going to plan on doing He's going to tune his. I'm going to you know, put the nitrous on my car, and we're going to run again. I mean, that car is, is no joke. So you have to have some serious power to go up against it. It's 1,200 pounds lighter than me. It's a, it's a crazy car. It's, it's, it's one of my dream cars. And 
event. All I can say is thank you to Mike uh, for allow and giving me this opportunity to get it done. I was a lot of people call him out, a lot of people mention his name, this and that, but I was one of the only ones that made the drive and got it done. Literally called him out two weeks after I'm in his hometown. We got it done. So shout out to you. But now we are about to go home and uh, see what's up with the Mustang. Kind of forgetting about the Mustang a little bit. Just kidding. You guys, you guys were telling me, yo, you know, do more Hellcat, more Hellcat. Now I'm going to start building this Hellcat even more and it's going to be part of the channel and it's going to be an open build just like the Mustang. So there you go, guys. I listen to you guys. Finally getting this bad boy in the garage. Got the Mustang right there. And a bunch of tires. Just a bunch of tires. Back home and she is clean. Now, <sighs> this thing is just um, filthy. We got caught in the rain uh, when it was the funeral. And um, it is filthy. Relief the filthy. You know, we'll probably clean it up maybe tomorrow. Let's, let's, let's keep it at that. But it's time to go. So um, I want to thank every single one of you guys. Every single one of my subscribers. Uh, we're going to hit 50,000 really, really soon. Thank you guys for supporting me since day one. I'm just a kid that has a dream and that's chasing their dreams. And I love every single one of you guys who believed in me. I know there's hate, negativity, and all that. But that comes with it. And if you, if you don't have haters, then... You're not doing anything right. So I always think of that and try to stay positive. And that's all I focus up, focus on is the love that I get from you guys. And thank you guys for everything, you know. I appreciate everything. You guys have allowed me to share my cars with you guys. You guys have allowed me to do everything right now, honestly. So um, I'm going to let you guys go. So thank you guys. So if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on so you can get an update every time my video posts. I usually post every single day at 5 p.m. It's pretty simple. It's a schedule. If if the times change, which they really don't, it, unless uh, it was the other day when I posted the video with Street Speed, I double uploaded. So I posted twice just so uh, I could be up to date with the racing and because I wanted to show what happened before that. And he wanted to post that day, so we came to agreement to post at 8 p.m. I've had posted at 2 p.m at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and we got it to work. So I usually post every day, though, at 5 p.m. So that's the time you guys should tune in. But I'm going to let you guys go. Have a beautiful, awesome day, and make sure you guys always stay positive. Peace out.